Mansion. Mansion. This is it. Wow. Oh, it's light blue. That is like the most movie-esque haunted house ever. It looks so scary. It's like a fancier Velisco. We all know how that turned out. <laughs> Hey, with a one, two, hey, yeah. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's Sam and Colby. Today, we are here with Seth at the Bowers Mansion. This haunted mansion is known for a murder, suicide, unsolved crime about 75 years ago. Now, it's only been open for paranormal investigation for about one year. And because so many people commented about this, we wanted to try to investigate a spot that is not very well known to decide two questions. One, is it actually haunted? Two, why is there fucking cars in a town that has 15 fucking people. Ah! Two, if the rumors are true about this place being haunted, can we figure out why there was a murder-suicide? Let's go check it out. Oh my god! No way! Someone is going down to that cellar tonight. <laughs> no! <laughs> Yo! Of course it has a scary cellar. I legit had the scariest thing happen to me in my entire life upstairs. Right now? I can't feel my mouth, I can't feel my arms, because they're so tingly, because I'm numb. It's a cock! Look at the little cock! What's up, Alice? Bites my hands up. <laughs> She's got a K2 on her back! Wait, actually? Yo! Oh, <laughs> Ghost doggy! I gotta get y'all to sign paper saying if you get hurt or attacked yeah. or something like that, it ain't none of her fault. <laughs> oh, great! Oh, hey, Alice. <laughs> Come here, Alice. <laughs> Maybe she's a tech or something. Oh, okay, Alice, we're not gonna hurt you. We love you. Alice is like, I did not sign up for this shit. <laughs> Now our story starts with this guy named Andrew Bowers Sr. He was an extremely wealthy railroad executive as well as four-time mayor of this town. So he was the big one. Two generations of the Bowers family lived and died here at this house. Sadly, their residence ended very tragically. To this day, an unsolved murder-suicide. Oh, it's a little bathroom! Harry Potter lived under the stairs, but I take shits under the stairs. Uh, all right. <laughs> Goldie, what are you doing in there? <laughs> your face is so red. Make sure when y'all coming up and down these steps tonight that you keep your hand on the rail because somebody can't push you. Do not know who does that. Okay. <laughs> Off camera, the guy told me there is a very, very high percentage of us falling floor at some point so it's all now stand very close together what what do you mean like this whole place is gonna fall down this place is over like 120 years old on june 6 1956 andrew bowers jr walked up the stairs and shot his wife mary in the back of the head this was around 7 a.m to 7 15 a.m so it was super early in the morning which is Kind of strange in my opinion. But what's even more strange is that he waited till 7.50 a.m. before he called somebody to come get her. He called across the street to the funeral home that's right there and said, hey, my wife is ill, I need you to call an ambulance. But before you come over here, wait five minutes. So when the employee from the funeral home came over to check on them, he banged on the door and nobody answered. So when he listened in, all he heard was a shot. They immediately rushed inside to see that Andrew Bowers had shot himself and his wife was dead up in the bedroom. Right here was where he shot himself. Oh, right here? Right here. Why would this guy wait 30 minutes before calling this funeral home? He was sitting around his dead wife for that long. Either he was mentally ill, maybe he was seriously trying to come to terms with what he was doing, or he planned it. Mary Bowers would hang up Christmas lights and Christmas trees up there. So all the people driving by would like see the decorations and stuff. Yeah. And people can still see a shadow figure roaming around in this area. Oh my God. The way oh my God. Holy shit, is that Mrs. Bowers? Jeez, bro. This house really is <laughs> Creepy mirror, alone It looks like closet. it has little handprints on it. Oh my god, you're right. This is Mary's room. This is where she got shot and killed. Oh! Right here. Oh my god, it looks right like a full-on goddamn seance. I was kind of thinking like intervention. It does look like an intervention. Yeah. It's time to talk. Fuck! Dude, I bet that is where her bed was. Lights on either side. Look what I just found out. Right? Yeah. Not locked. Exploring time. Boom, 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 boom. Not the right time to wear skinny jeans. Oh, yeah, that's my line. Parkour, call me Michael Scott. Secret entrance. <laughs> Wait, since this was locked, like, we gotta be careful probably on these floors. Yeah, this is probably where it's fucked. <sighs> we fall through. It's gonna get so many views. <laughs> Kobe Brock dies at Haunted Mansion. That one says no entry as well. 
looks like we're getting into the me. <laughs> we are gonna, gonna fall. fall through. We might be the first and last to investigate this. Yeah, we're like, we're the first investigators to really investigate this place. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. <laughs> That's why nobody comes here. Yeah. Oh. It's like nobody even knew we did that. Yeah, no one is ever gonna know <laughs> that we did that. Guys, don't tell anybody. So there is a newspaper article stating what he wrote in his will. His suicide note didn't have any reason of his murder, obviously. It's still unsolved. However, the only thing on the suicide note was a message to void all of his previous wills and leave all of his personal and real property to a woman named Mrs. Sims. She did not live here. You said Mrs. Sims and there was a smack. This lady was someone who was living in the hotel downtown. Why would you randomly, last minute before you kill yourself, decide to not leave anything for the rest of your family or anybody involved and leave it all to this random person? It is noted that people think Andrew Bowers was not sleeping in the same bed as Mary the night that he shot her kind of insinuating they were in a fight. Also the fact that it was at 7 a.m. He was up all night thinking about something. Again, we don't know why this happened. All we know is that he supposedly had some kind of mental illness for a very long time. Oh. That was, that was right behind us. Dude, this house is loud. It's like a responding to what we're talking about. Holy shit. Wow. Dude, see, we thought this place was gonna be furnished, but it's like, Nah. It's like an abandoned house. Until literally two years ago, it was abandoned for 17 years. Pretty well preserved for a place that's been yeah. abandoned for that long. Dude, we can't go in there. Private room, do not enter. What do you think is in a private abandoned house? I don't know, but they definitely lock it from the top. Right? Oh no! <laughs> is this like all mold or something on here? Oh god. Like this. We're gonna get asbestos. Is that something you can get? Oh! Yo, there's a perfect spot to hide a body. Who's sleeping here tonight? Yo, they actually have a bed. We could do a slumber party. They should just make this a, a hotel. <gasps> actually, I remember seeing this room online. This is Bernard's room. Oh. This is where he would sit at the window every single day and just do nothing. For his entire life. Wow. It's so sad. What is that? I'm shitting currently. I'm scared of these steps, bro. Ominous bulb. Oh, God, dude, from the camera, it looks like it just turns oh into my darkness. God. Why would Bernard's room, the guy that can't do anything, have the one staircase to the basement? What's in here, though? This looks like it might just be like store. Oh, it's another potty room. So I think the only basement to this place is that cellar that we saw. You have to go outside the cellar. <laughs> what the fuck? Was that upstairs? That was keep, the door. Keep, keep it recorded. That was wait, the door. Wait. Wait, was that upstairs? Yes. That was the fucking door. No. Wait, no, it was no, not. Fucking no, it was not. No. The door is fucking No, it's not. not. Oh, Holy shit. God. Okay, now no. No, I was recording this entire time. That fucking door There's no draft itself. in here. How did that happen? By itself. Bernard's room is the most active. That's what he told me. Really? Bernard's room is he more active. That? Yes. Bernard just shut us in the, in the basement. He's like, don't come back. Yeah, he's like, get out of here. Holy shit. That scared the fuck out of me. Me too. That's a huge thought. I feel like we should go learn more about this place. Yeah. For sure. Alice, did you see anything while we were up there? Did you see anything while we were up there? Okay. She's like, fuck off, fuck off. Alice, please! <laughs> Alice can smell the attachment. <laughs> see? He knows it's up your ass. Everyone knows about my ass. Everyone? Yeah. I'm David Howe. I'm with Horror Rooms America. Where do you say what would be the most haunted spot in this house? In the back room, Bernard's. Is that Bernard. where the door just slammed? That's where the yes. door just slammed. Yes. In the bathroom there, you will see a shadow figure going back and forth. And in Bernard's room, on the stairs y'all come down, that would have been the servant stairs come up <gasps> and down. Oh, that makes sense. That's why that's colored green. The Bowers had servants. They had the, their own house outside, right? That's correct. Every so often you can look up at the servant's quarter top window and see somebody looking back at you. Oh, no. You said something about a tree. Could you repeat that? The tree on the back lot. Two investigations we have found out that there has been two servants hung on it in 1905. They would hang their own servants on a tree in the backyard. We also have, of course, Andrew Bowers Jr. You know, he would brought a lot of negative energy in here, too. Do you know which room that he shot himself in? Because if he shot... room right below us. 
right below us. They're right here. Okay. Mary Bowers, she is here. She got shot. She was laying on her side when they found her. She got shot by her husband. She used a spirit box type. I would use it in here. You can't get Mary to come through. Sometimes you may get a spirit that is, of course, from the funeral home or from the graveyard. There is some negative energy in this house. I believe most of that is coming from the basement. There's a little box sitting next to the wall. If you was to step on there, there is some kind of doll or something back in there. We was told not to touch this. Wait, there's a haunted doll in the basement? We don't know if it's haunted or not. We had a medium told us do not touch that. It's no good. Oh, that's terrifying. No. And there is supposedly several bodies buried underneath the concrete in the basement. What? What? Oh, this just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> <It does. laughs> so, so you think most of the negative energy is coming from whatever is buried in the basement or that doll? I, I believe so. There is a portal downstairs because you actually have one mirror underneath the other point towards another mirror. Vortexes. There is a vortex or a portal on the other side of the funeral home and it goes straight to the graveyard real close to the bowers. Really interesting one. I was talking to somebody and said the name was George. And I'm like, who is George? We find out he was not from this property. He come from the graveyard. We find the other end of that vortex tunnel portal, where you want to call it. There's a George right there. What? Like he was buried right there? He's buried almost in front of where the portal is at. Oh, you know exactly where the portal is in the graveyard? Yes. Uh, can we see that later? Yes. All right. Oh, nice. When we do have mediums in this house, or like this house still has not broke out full potential where it's really going to talk yet. We might be the first. So we're saying we might stir things up tonight. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Are you ready, Alice? Coming up to the graveyard, St. Joseph Cemetery. Here is where all the Bowers are at. Oh, what? Right here? The whole Bowers family is right here? This is the man who committed the crime. He lays right here. His bones are underneath us. 1956. 7 a.m. Is, <gasps> is when he shot, killed his wife and then himself. So here's Bernard and he was the brother of Andrew Jr. who committed the crimes. He has the most active room. This guy is the one that like shut the door on us just a second ago. We're standing on his grave. That's so crazy that's to think insane, about. Man. Why would she be in the family but be the only one that's not buried here? Does that mean she created a will that told everybody before she died that she didn't want to be buried next to him? If this was unsolved... Hi! 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 No attachments! Ah! They would have just buried her right next to her husband, right? Maybe he specifically said, do not bury her. There's some kind of missing puzzle piece to this. Unless we're just being really dumb and the people are just like, why would we bury his wife right next to the person that killed him, right? And they just made that decision themselves. True. I like to think that there's something that they're not telling us. <laughs> Alice looks like she's having the time of her life. <laughs> Alice can see every demon here. I'm scared as <laughs> fuck. Right there between them two trees. Right here? What? If you look over here, we should come up to George. There, George. George. Apparently spirits are coming from here, going through this portal, coming out by the funeral home, and walking over to say hi to Bowers Mansion. They have not been able to figure out. Well, it's time for us to do that for you. Interesting. Let's go look at this portal again. Yeah. Through investigation, they figured out these trees created the portal. Yeah, this is like, please. Do we have the portal where I'm standing at? Can you light up this K2 meter on Alice? You can't go home with us, but... You can answer. Oh! It did! It did. It's spiking! It Yo, it's oh still spiking! God. Holy fuck! Wow, right as he asked. Oh my god! She's shaking too. Oh, oh my wait! God. Immediate confirmation that this is a portal. That was incredible. Hold on. So, like, why would a K2 be going off in between two trees? That doesn't even make any sense. There's it, nothing electronic. And it's a right graveyard. Here. It's not like there's any electronics. Yeah, there electric right here. That is just pure EMF energy. And now look, it's completely fine. Yeah, it's fine. This is the second time in season two that we found a portal with two trees. Oh, yeah. Feel her vibrate if you want to touch her. Sorry, Alice. I know this is awkward. Oh, she is! She's shaking! She's scared. Yeah, she's freaking out. All right, well, we can get Alice out of here so she doesn't continue shaking, but thanks for showing this portal. That's crazy. I want to find out exactly what this house is hot and how this portal was here. Hey, it's just something we're going on around Bowers Mansion. That's for sure. Maybe we'll find out what it is. 
Thank you so much, David. Uh, no problem. Y'all be safe. Be careful over at that house. You never know what's gonna happen. Thanks for the advice and all the help. We'll try to solve this mystery. Never know who you might be talking to over there because a lot will be coming from this cemetery, so. That's the creepiest thing I've ever heard. Uh, yes, uh, one last thing. Do you get scared at the Bowers Mansion? I have been spooked before pretty good. When you're running face to face with a shadow figure, pretty spooky. Don't do nothing bad over there. We won't. We'll be good. <laughs> All right. well, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, it, Yeah, very nice to meet you, man. Again, shout out hauntedrooms.com. If you guys want to go investigate yourselves, you can hit them up. Awesome guy. And meet Alice, too. If we're one of the first people to investigate this, don't you think they're going to try to, like, get their answers out, especially for filming? David was also saying he believes these spirits have been inactive because no one's been in this house for decades. He has not reached his full potential of hauntings. Oh my Wait, God. there's somebody that here. Was a, there's somebody that was here. glass. That was fucking glass. Oh, really quick, there has to be somebody here. What the fuck was that? It sounded like it came from right here, bro. It was like glass. Is someone outside? There's nobody here. All right guys, so it sounds like we need to start this investigation ASAP. There's stuff happening constantly. But just to wrap this up, guys, basically immediately, uh, That was something moving upstairs, 100%. Being moved across the floor. Almost immediately after this murder-suicide, it was rumored that this house was haunted. Now, it went through a couple other businesses and everything, but around the year 2000, it was left empty and abandoned for 17 years. Not again. Oh, wait. Not again. Oh, my God. What? what? Every time we're with you, dude. We're 17. Sure. I have a tattoo of a 17, and it's popped up in the last few videos that I filmed with these guys. There's 17 portals currently open in this house. 17. Dude, Whoa. don't you have... Oh, the 17. That just made me think of another thing. What? I mean, the reason why I have the 17 is because of my grandfather, <gasps> George. George! Who was one of the spirits that comes from the cemetery or the funeral. Oh, yeah! One spirit that comes back and forth most often is George. He was the one that was buried right next to the portal. Dude, these places are always so connected to you. Last important Bowers character that you guys probably need to know before we investigate is Bernard Bowers, who also lived at this house at one point, but he died tragically at the age of 30 because he also was suffering some sort of illness where he couldn't leave his room. He was always in a wheelchair sitting and looking out his window and people say that Bernard's room might be the most active because of the amount of sadness that he experienced when he was alive. This house is known for a lot of the common hauntings. You get some body voices, you see some orbs every once in a while, but the really strange thing I've noticed is people say this house makes people sad. Obviously, Andrew Bowers woke up was going through something so that he would kill his wife. Just this house holds a lot of sadness and even David himself says that. Let's go check out what is going on upstairs and then let's start this investigation. Yeah. Yo. You heard that right? Yeah, I think there's an animal in here or we just heard this high pitched. There's, dude. There's a cat up here. We heard meows. What the fuck? I thought it came from this area somewhere. Wait, this door's open. Huh? Wasn't this the do not enter the one that we couldn't open? The door, yeah, it's open. <gasps> oh, shit! There's three cats in here. There's four cats! Okay, wait, wait, let's not let them out. What? How is that door open? That scared the crap out of me. Holy fuck. My heart is pounding. Me Holy too. Crap. Dude, there's five cats in there. How is that door open? It was locked. This was completely shut right here. Look, you can't even close it. It's like somebody pushed it from the inside. So someone has been inside and we all left to the graveyard. Yeah, so who did it? Is there any way else to get into that room? Can you get in this way? No, this door's closed too. Unless the cats open doors. What? Why would they keep five cats in here alone? This is an abandoned house. No one lives here. Yeah, you can't even close it now. All the way, see? That is so odd. Can we try to close this? Because we're going to get blamed for that. They're scratching at the door. That's kind of sad. Yeah, they're trying to help. There's a abandoned house that has cats just locked in here. Guys, check this out. We 
not anything on that, but no. <laughs> like, we might. TikTok, dude, just gonna look at her and like, hey. Oh, oh, what? oh, my what? God. Wait, oh. Are what you the filming? fuck? Yeah. yeah. Dude, what the fuck? Is that a fucking cat ball? Wait, press that down. Yes, that's a fucking cat ball. That's like part of our paranormal equipment. Dude, what if I roll it in and they just roll it back? I'm gonna stick my phone in there again. <laughs> Yo, no! they passed it back, dude. That's fucking awesome. Yo! He's rolling. Your phone just disappears. I was gonna say. Hey, they might grab it. So now we know that all those noises that we heard were damn cats. There's like six of them up here. God, it scared the crap out of me. <laughs> <laughs> I love cats. Dude. Just a little, little. Here it goes. That's so cute. Yo, there's another one. Look at this little boss. So it is investigation time. There's absolutely nobody in the house except for us. And as always, we decided why not do the worst possible thing we could do first. <laughs> oh! By that we mean we're going to split up. We're gonna have one person take the house, one person take the funeral home across the street, which is supposedly a portal. And then third, someone's gonna go into the cellar. He said in an interview that there is apparently a haunted doll down there, as well as up to 11 dead bodies buried under the cement. Who does that? Maybe it low-key increases retail value. I think the first question we want to answer is, is this place haunted? Specifically, are all the locations haunted by the same people, or is it a portal? We've already had doors close on their own and a bunch of noises and creaks. Although some of them might be the cats, it can't be every single one. There's footsteps and everything. Who wants to get the uh, mansion alone? <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> gotcha. So Colby's gonna be here in the haunted mansion alone. We're gonna go outside. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna shut this door just so you can't sneak up on me. Good luck, man. Thanks. I feel like I have the scariest thing by far. Why? Yeah. I have the whole damn mansion. <laughs> I'm going in the complete dark with a night vision camera. You got this, man. Wait, didn't he also say that in the basement is where the negative, dark, angry energy is? Mm, he did say that. Yeah. Yeah. Good, Good luck. luck. Here we go. <sighs> you know, season two, is all about pushing our fear boundaries. We wanna make sure we're always up in the ante every single one of these videos. And I'm not kidding when I say that every single time I've done an alone investigation like this, or just being alone in general in a haunted place, it scares me every time. You feel a lot more vulnerable, and again, I'm using this camera as my safety net. Just talking to you is the only one that's gonna get me through this, but... Here we go. I am genuinely terrified to go down in this cellar. I have no light on this, so when I go down there, I won't be able to see a single thing. Holy shit, dude, there it is. These goddamn motherfuckers, they really got me walking around by myself. Okay guys, so this is the funeral home that supposedly has all of the portals around it. I am not totally sure what we're gonna get here, but I'm gonna turn the ovulus on and we're just gonna try to communicate, see if we can find out anything. Supposedly, there's a spirit named George here who likes to visit the Bowers Mansion across the street. I just wanna know if you're here. Cellar? Oh my god, it just said cellar. Oh my god, and it just said malevolent. That's actually really freaking creepy because Sam is in the basement right now, aka the cellar, with a malevolent spirit. There's anyone down by the basement. Can you turn on this REM pod? Fuck, dude. You know when you get that pit in your stomach where you kind of like know something is kind of off, almost like you did something wrong or like something's about to happen to you? That's what I feel like. So first thing I'm gonna do is reenact what Andrew Bowers Jr. did to his wife. So in 1956 at 7 a.m., Andrew Bowers walked up these stairs. Once he got to the top of the stairs, it is believed that he took a second to stand right here and ponder about what he was about to do. But as you guys know, he decided to move forward with murdering his wife. He walks in here. We believe the bed would have been right in this corner. His wife was laying down, probably faced towards this way, and then boom. 
Shot her in the back of the head. Oh my god, it's so much warmer down here. Holy fuck, dude, holy fuck. Oh my god. What is that? But again, guys, I can't see shit. He said to look for two stones. When you stand up on those two stones, you can see a haunted doll. All right, I'm gonna put this REM pod down. What the fuck is that? My own shadow just scared the living crap out of me. George, are you out here? All you gotta do is speak to me through this box that I have in my hand. Wrong world. It just said camera. What I find is the creepiest thing about this story is he waited a good 30 minutes before he walked down these stairs again while his dead wife was upstairs. His mind must have been just racing with thoughts. Like he must have felt like so clouded in such a dark moment that he came over here, ended up calling his friend at the funeral home across the street where Seth is around 8.05 a.m. Bailey, his friend, came over to check on him only to hear a gunshot inside. Right where I'm standing, Andrew Bowers Jr. ended up shooting himself and then dying on his way to the hospital. Obviously, Andrew suffered with mental illness and it's interesting that Bernard, his brother, Brother also suffered with another sort of mental illness or some sort of disability to where he couldn't walk and was stuck in a wheelchair for all of his life. I can literally hear Sam right now in the cellar. I hope he's okay. Fuck, 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 fuck. Hello? Andrew Bowers? Shit. It's going off like crazy. I can see now because of this. If that's not a malfunction and someone's actually down here, can you make that REM pod stop? Can you step away on the count of three? One, two, three. Oh my god, this just said touch. Are you planning on touching any of us tonight? <gasps> it said graveyard! We were just at the graveyard. Oh my god, I'm like freaked the hell out right now. I hate being by myself when doing these kind of videos. Reveal. These cats are super loud at some points, but at other points, they're just chilling. They might be like laying down just trying to sleep right now, but whatever noises we were hearing before have not been happening. But if you go down this hallway, this apparently is the bathroom door where there's reports of a head sticking out and peeking and then going back in. And that's rumored to be Bernard because Bernard's room is right here. Now this room freaks me out the most. There is undoubtedly a different vibe as soon as you enter this room. And what's weird to me is that we came back up here and opened this, so this was on us. But this has shut as if Bernard was just saying, do not come back. Now if he was spending most of his time in this room, I could only imagine that these windows, probably this one, was where his wheelchair was up against and he would just watch outside, wasting his life away, unfortunately, because nobody could help him. Nobody knew what was wrong. And one little interesting fact about Bernard Bernard is he was strangely obsessed with birds. He loved birds, and so maybe we can use that to trigger him later. I can see Seth right there walking around the funeral home. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, he's waving! Hey! <laughs> hey, there's Colby right over there. <gasps> it said homicide! Oh my god, I was just saying hi to Colby real quick because I saw him in the window. Homicide during the day. That's what it said. During. <gasps> oh my god! Now it's different. What the fuck? I'm gonna reset that to make sure. I'm gonna search for this haunted dog. That kind of looks like a pentagram. Is this the step he was talking about? Where are you? I checked everywhere on this side. That means it has to be up there. I wanna ask something. Mary Bowers? Andrew Bowers? Bernard Bowers? If anybody can hear me, any one of you can hear me, can you please give me some sort of obvious sign where you can come up to this device that I'm holding in my hand and make it spike? Let me know that you're here with me. <gasps> the kitty. Oh my God, the kitty. That scared me so bad. <gasps> Oh my god, kitty. That is so sad, but we can't open this door and let them out. Obviously this isn't our property, so we have to respect these people. I hope those cats are okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna get up on top of this. Where are you? I literally searched this entire fucking thing. Is that it? I'm noticing that there's a lot of words popping up when I go to the side closest to the house and the side furthest from the house. I'm not really sure if that's because the portal is on a certain area. I'm literally in the dark here. Body. Mary Bowers, are you still here in this room? Cats. 
I don't mean to disrespect in any way. Honestly, I just want to know your guys' story. I don't think what happened to you is fair. And I think there's way more to the story than people know. Obviously, it was unsolved. So is there any way that you can give me some sort of answers? Just let me know that you're here so that we can talk to you later and figure out exactly what happened. George, if you're here, can you please give me a sign? <gasps> it just said devil. Is there some kind of evil entity? Some kind of devil? Alive? Known. Scratch? Can you tell me the name of the house that I'm pointing to? Something alone. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. What the fuck is that? Yeah. Whoa, is that a, that's way smaller than I expected. Oh my god! I can't see that very well, but you guys will probably be able to see it. Oh, apparently mediums said do not touch that haunted doll. So what are we gonna do? Guys, I'm not just saying this to say this. I'm almost feeling like just slightly nauseous. And I'm not one to be like allergic to cats, but it almost feels like my throat is kind of tightening a bit. Like I'm having some sort of allergic reaction or something. But as soon as I started asking questions, that's when it really started to make me feel a little bit sick. Is somebody here with me? Bernard, if you're in this room, why don't you come talk to me? Could you come light up my device I'm holding? Can you slam this door in front of me again? It's just me. If you want me to leave your room, just please shut this door and I'll get out of here. Huh. Bernard, I just want to... Bernard, I just want to say that I'm sorry about the life that you lived. You didn't <gasps> Holy fuck! Oh my god! Holy shit! Oh my god, I'm fucking... Holy shit! I'm getting out of here. Oh my god! I have never been that jump scared in my fucking life, guys. I swear to god. Holy fuck, I gotta go downstairs for two seconds. <gasps> Are you fucking kidding me? How do you explain that? Guys! I don't know what to do, I'm just walking around, guys. I don't know what to say. I asked him to do that. I cannot believe that happened, guys. That's been open the entire fucking time we've been doing this. Whew. There's nobody here, I promise, guys. I promise. I swear to God. I asked him to do that, though. Bernard, if you can hear me, thank you. Thank you for letting me know you wanted me to leave your room. I, I left. I hope you understand that. We're just trying to get your story out there. I've never felt so tingly in my life. My hands are numb. My lips are numb. I feel like I can't move my face. Oh my God, my arm's getting tired from this camera, too. I promise you guys, that's probably the most scared I've ever been, ever. I know we say that in a lot of videos. People roast us all the time. But if you cannot tell by my reaction right now, I have never been that jump scared in my life. Not even in the Conjuring basement alone, not any other isolation investigations at all. That door just slammed in front of me. You're not gonna believe what happened to me. I'm being so dead serious, but I wanna... I don't know, like, I'm not kidding, dude. Like, this is like one of the scariest things happened to me in my life. Like, I'm not, I'm not just saying this for like camera. Dude, you're, you're like eyes are watering. Yeah. What's, are you good? I need, we need to wait till Sam gets here. Should I go get him? Yeah, All right. could you grab him? All right. Hello? Can you see this? Guys, what the fuck? I do not know how much that got, but holy fuck, that thing is still going off. That thing has not gone off the entire time, right? As soon as I walked down there, yes, I reset it, nothing. Something whispered in my ear right after that. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm literally- No! Dude, 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 dude. You do not know what just fucking happened to me. Oh, he just told me the same thing. What? He's like fucking crying right now. What, what, what are you okay? I had 
Do you want to talk inside? Yeah. Because of this Go thing? Inside. Wow! Dude, no, that's actually fucking terrifying. Have you ever seen something like that before, right when I turned my back on it? No, yeah, and you were asking it to close it, and it literally in front of your eyes, and you were definitely far away. It was, you were probably like that far away. Yes, there's no way that was me. Yes, I, like I swear. Oh my god. I don't know what you experienced, but like, I'll tell you why I'm so fucking jumpy. It's covered with penta- Pentagrams and like 666 symbols and everything, but I was just looking around and I could only see through that one little camera Trying to find this haunted doll for so long. I, I like picked it up Obviously not supposed to but I picked it up and then the REM pod not going off for 10-15 minutes just starts blaring and then something in my ear goes What? It goes, and it freaked me the fuck out and I and I jumped down But I couldn't see so I dropped the camera and broke it so I don't even know if that footage is even out there, like I don't know if it's existing, that's what I'm telling you right now. Oh shit. And I turned it back on, and luckily it worked. Uh, like that 2018 when I heard something like whisper in my ear, it was like that, but like twice as loud. Holy shit, so you had something just that scary happen. Insane, it was like the biggest jump scare, but then I could also tell someone was there because the REM pod. And like the camera broke, so again, that's why I'm saying this, I don't know if it's on footage. How so was yours? Whatever was talking to me, was talking to me about you guys. It said, seller. No way, actually, the obelisk. And then, it also said devil. <gasps> the 666. I just got chills. Fuck, I just got chills It too. said alone. Holy Dude, God. I can't hold this camera. Yeah, actually, I'm shaking. Yeah, no, what the hell? And then the one of the creepiest things I heard was when I was walking around this way, it was right after I saw you in the window and I waved at you. Mm -hmm. It said homicide. Oh my God! Exactly what happened here! What? I tried over and over, bro, to ask like if it's if, it, if there's a portal. It wouldn't tell me anything about a portal. It, I didn't even know if I talked to George. I don't know who I was talking to. I walked over to Colby and I just knew like something was up. It looked like you were like, genuinely affected. Something's in that room, and the fact that it said devil makes me think that there's something evil here. What if Andrew Bowers did not mean to do that, and something took over him and his sickness? Maybe we can <laughs> take a break for a second. Oh shit. This place is insane. On the night vision, that literally looked like a giant circle with like lines in the middle of it. I thought it might be a pentagram as well. There's some sort of symbol right there. And then there's some, one. there's the same symbol right there, six, six, and then six. six 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 right there. I cannot believe it said devil, and then you saw this stuff. I had to look all the way back there, and there's a fucking little haunted doll. Oh my god, that looks so creepy. Wait, it looks like a Chinese doll. They said not to touch it though. Oh shit, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, that's why you're always getting attacked. God dang it, I'm so sorry. I turn to look at the REM pod, and then right here, my ear goes. To reiterate, I don't think I ever talked to any of the Bowers besides Bernard. You just said that in the flash I turned on! Holy shit! You don't think you talked to the Bowers? I mean, no, my EMF wasn't going off, but maybe he could hear me. What if this is him telling us it was in this room? It could- Boom! Turned off! Right as you said that! Oh my god! Like we were saying earlier, these people, they want their story to be known since it was unsolved. I guess the first question we can ask is, could you do that again? Now we're in this room. You set off what you Oh! Whoa! Oh wait, that was your- that was- Oh my god! Did you see me though? I was like, yes. boom! Yes, that was perfect! Andrew Bowers Jr., did you die in this room? Turned off. What, what was that? Fuck hell? Andrew, did you just make that noise over there? Oh, the flash is off! Oh my god, that scared the fuck out of me. Right after! Should we see if it's really intelligent? Alright, so you're able to turn on this- Intelligent and did what you were gonna ask it to do before you even said it. Which means it's more intelligent than we think. It's like, okay, he's gonna ask me to do this one. Andrew, if you really like us that we're here to tell your story, can you turn both flashlights off? Count of three. One, two, three. Time, but it was like but it, it was basically the amount of time to go click walk 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 yeah. click so what do we ask him why <laughs> yes this flashlight over here by the front door the red one we're gonna say that is yes this blue flashlight on the mantle is no yes that one right there holy shit so if you can turn both of those off 
we can start asking you yes or no questions about the murder. Turn them off in three, two, one. And we'll start the conversation. <gasps> wow! This is oh dude. my god! Did you kill your wife because you were angry with her? Yes. So both flashlights are off now. The thing I want to know from you, Andrew, is do you feel like you were either possessed? Oh! Yes! And no. What? Oh, that just, they turned on at the same time? What? That's what, dude, that's what I was saying off camera. Do you remember what I told you? As we were walking around outside, I was just like, what if something was trying to possess him but didn't fully do it? And that's why he still was able to call his friend Bailey to come to the house. So it was like, yes and no. Like he was battling this demon. Andrew, did you regret killing your wife in any way? Oh! What's that one again? Yes. I said regret, yes. Yes. He did regret it. That's why it said yes and no. You know what I mean? Something took over him for a second and then he realized what he did. Yes. Andrew, do you think that whatever made you kill your wife is still in this house? Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's exactly what we thought. Dude, that lines up with everything we're talking about. You, over there, devil, 666, all the weird stuff. David, upstairs, who's saying, guys, there is something evil in the basement. There's probably something fucking with him and taking control. You think the kids of Palestine went down in that cellar and drew 666 and satanic symbols for a reason? To like kind of forewarn people that this place is evil. He regrets killing his wife and he still thinks whatever like maybe influenced him to kill his wife is still here at the Bowers Mansion. So what's next? Maybe you see if it's still with Bernard? Yes, yes. That just turned on. Guys, I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you are, you know what to do. Leave a like, it takes two seconds and it's free. It really helps us out. And while you're down there, subscribe as well. If this gets 200,000 likes, then we're gonna go to another place that not many people have investigated before because obviously it could turn out pretty crazy. Leave a like, subscribe, enjoy the video. All right guys, investigation number two. As scared as I am to say this, we are going to Bernard's room before we get answers with Mary in her room. I'm do not like this room at all. You're not alone now, man. You'll be okay. I was gonna say, this slammed on us earlier too, so we all know what you're talking about. All right, I'm back, Bernard. I know I asked you to slam the door if you didn't want anybody to be in here, so I'm sorry. Certain. Am not. I'm not certain. First of all, I just wanted to say, sorry if it feels like we're invading your space. I understand that you spent most of your life living alone here, and I just hope you know that we're just trying to get the Bauer story out there for as many people to see, and I hope you understand that. Dude, it is so sad. Having an illness like that where you can't even move for 30 years, all you have right out there, looking at a tree, birds and stuff all your life. Interest. Interest. His only interest was birds. Wow. We want to hear your story, Bernard. You can tell us anything about your life or about your brother. Whose? About your life, yeah. Fade. Bernard, if you're still here with us, could you please give us an obvious sign one more time? Dude, that just said like three words. Total rule. Total rule? Do you think whatever is in the basement has total rule over everything? It still happens around here? Often. Often. Lead. Spirit. Spirit. Together. Spirit together? Wife. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Spirit together, Spirit wife. Together. Are, are you all together in the afterlife? Or maybe it's just Bernard and the wife because Andrew killed. Fame. Yeah, dude. Andrew. Group. Whoa, did you just feel a really cold breeze? Ed. I just felt like a crazy. Whoa, what? There's a guy named Eddie. No, no, no. That is Andrew Bowers Jr. Era Andrew Bowers is Jr. His is his. Yeah. Is Eddie? Eddie is his nickname. Eddie. It says Ed and it's a group. Bernard, wife, and Ed, meaning Andrew Bowers Jr., are all together. Spirit. Bernard, thank you so much for telling us more about the Bowers story. If you guys are all together in the afterlife, does that mean you all agree that Andrew was just under some sort of malevolent? spirit when he killed his wife? You. Bernard, was there always a portal in this house? Violet. Solstice. What's that mean? Solstice is like a time of year that like there's the most energy. Is he trying to tell us that the portal opens during that time? Branches. The tree branches in the cemetery. Oh my god! The portal opens at the solstice. And there's evil spirits that come and probably one of them came in, maybe not demonic, but an evil spirit took over. Andrew. He committed this crime June 6th, 6-6. Six, six. 
temperature. Oh my god, you're right. And isn't the first day of summer solstice on June 21st? I have no idea. I think. So they just told us that this portal is open at the solstice, which was the time that he... Same two weeks that he killed him. June. Are you June. fucking The sixth me? month of the year. June 6th. 6-6. Six, six. 1956. 6-6-6. Six, six, six. It's kind of a reach, but at the same time, it makes sense. If he really likes birds, maybe to make him feel more comfortable. Is this like weird to like play like bird? No. Bird well, noises? I mean, we, we've done that for spirits before. I'm gonna say trigger object. Alright, so I found bird sounds spectacular. Morning bird song. This is probably what he listened to every single day for his entire life. I'm like trying to put myself in his position. Just looking out that window. Just looking out the window, you can't go anywhere. I, I can't even imagine how sad that must feel. I wonder if he felt like the birds were his like only life. Probably what gave him purpose. Living through the birds or something because he couldn't really escape this one tiny Room. If there's anything else you want to add to the Bauer story, now's your chance. Or if you want us just to leave right now, jump this door like you did before. Hold. Hold on. Okay, we're waiting. Below. That's where all the pentagrams were. You know how, like, in the beginning, David said that, like, this place kind of makes you sad sometimes? Yeah. It, I feel so drained just being in this room. I haven't felt like this all night, but, like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm trying to feel what he felt. You know, I just, um, I feel so freaking tired. I, I just can't imagine what he felt like in this room. Final investigation. We are right where Mary Bowers was shot and killed by her husband. Seth is gonna go under with the Estes method, and we're gonna see if we can get the full truth of why this happened. Solve this mystery. So we learned recently in a Stanley Hotel that the absolute best way to do this Estes method is to get super, super relaxed and almost allow yourself into that trance. I know Corey from The Conjuring House said that's scary, but like that's usually when we get the best answers if you're able to put yourself in that situation. Oh. Really quick, you know what we should do? Let's put a camera in Bernard's room, just in case that door does slam. Nice. You down? Yes. All right, now everything is set up for the final Estes session. See you on the other side, boys. All right. Let's hopefully we figure some stuff out. Hello? Seth, can you hear us? Mary Bowers, are you here with us? Me. Have you been here with us this entire time? Yes. <gasps> no way! Seth, are you sure you can't hear us? Oh, <gasps> oh my god, the door is set! The door just fucking slid! The door slid! Holy shit! That's gotta be on. That's gotta be on fucking camera. Oh my god! I told you guys! No way it did. Oh my god, you're right! Holy fuck! One of the first things we caught oh on camera. Oh my god. The door slammed by itself. Oh my god. We we, we oh are so god. far away. We are literally in the other room. Oh, it is so cold in here. It's so different. I have chills all over my body again. Obviously, that's not as scary as having me behind your back, but dude, that just proves it. Bernard, Bernard's in here. And as soon as we started asking questions, the entire time we set up the Estes method, nothing was happening. Nothing. Until like at we all. started. And it's been like 20 minutes since we were in this Bernard room. And immediately, you said me and yes, and that identified for sure that Mary was talking to us did, off the bat. What did you ask? Is this Mary? You said me. And were you with us the entire time? Yes. yes. And then immediately slammed. Cut it all on camera that's perfect this is the first thing we've ever caught like that right oh i think so like that Please. clear like we got the flashlights maybe in the bel air house but this door closing in front of everyone's eyes that is undeniable we are so far away yeah we're the only ones in the house yes and have been for hours for hours so it's it's time. Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. And you're already getting contact with Mary. This is perfect. Okay. Let's go. All right. Oh my God, dude. It's like, I'm not, like, it's almost like I'm not even like scared anymore. I'm, I'm like excited. We, we captured that. Dude. And it was almost like you knew. You were like, hmm, before we start this, I want to put the camera there. You know Just, why? Why? Because it always happens when you're not looking. When I turn my back, slam. And you're starting to follow that, that intuition. You're starting to fe feel. Dude, I feel like you know. I just like, we just showed that to so many people. 
That is You're amazing. Kidding me? That's probably one of the best evidences ever. This like could literally go down in history. We were that far away. Holy fuck! Okay, let's go. Dude, I got so scared when I felt the shake. When I felt the table shake. Yo, 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 yo! Uh, Holy fuck! What? I just got full on chills. There was someone right behind me. Are you serious? I say 100%. You swear? Like, I swear on my goddamn life. 100%. I'm not lying. It like was so close behind me. Dude, when you two were in the room and I was outside the door, I, I felt like there were people in the hallway watching me. I just, I literally just felt like someone was watching us leave. Bernard said the whole family's here. The whole family's here and it just closed the, that door. And as soon as we walked, it was like squeaking in footsteps right behind me. I swear I felt it like someone, you know, someone staring down the back of your neck or something. Yes. Yes. That's what I felt and I heard a squeak. Like, holy fuck. We need to do this seance. Let's do it, let's do it. I'm just like, wow. This place is one of the most active places we've ever been to in our lives. This place is actually like terrifying. We've never had this much shit happen to us in one night. It's back to back to back, it's nonstop. No one's investigated here, especially the way we're doing it right now. Maybe everything is happening because we're literally awakening 75 year old spirits from a family riddled with sadness. They want to talk to people. They want people here. Are you ready? Yeah. What was that? Downstairs. Yeah, that was like a, a step? It was like a, yeah. It was like a knock. It's behind you. Oh my god. Behind you, behind you, maybe. Oh fuck. Because of the sound. Behind me, holy oh, thank fuck. God. The men. The men. Thoughtfulness. Thoughtfulness. What is behind me? Me. We just heard that too? Dude, something was behind you in the hallway! There's what? What's behind? Who are you? Are Interesting we, question. Are we still talking to Mary? A man. A man. This is not Mary. Because something followed you from Bernard's room. Did you come from the portal? From the graveyard? Amen. In Bernard's room, they said a group. Are we talking about Bernard, Andrew, and Mary? That was a deep voice. I couldn't make out what it said. Bernard literally did say few malevolent. He had devil on his ovulus. You had pentagrams doctor. in your basement. Doctor. Who was a doctor? I don't know. Our son. Is your name Andrew Bowers Jr.? Don't cry. Did this spirit know Andrew Bowers Jr.? Yes. <gasps> Wait. Oh, oh shit, I know what you mean. Are we talking to something from the cellar? From the basement? Die. <laughs> Wait. Made somebody Bitch. Die. Were you the one that influenced Andrew to kill his wife? The leader. The leader did. Who's your They said there was a leader ruler. What? That just gave me a bunch of chills. Or maybe he's, that's, maybe that was the end. <gasps> Huge. Looking for something. What the what fuck? What are you looking for? Why are you here? Is your leader a negative energy? An inhuman spirit? Close. Holy oh, shit, so what is wow. it? It is could be just a bad guy. Angry, angry human spirit. I mean, if there was a portal in here and there was just multiple people coming from life, of course there's gonna be some bad people. Were you the one that made this happen? Or your leader? You. <gasps> what? Of course I was. So, are we right? Something influenced him, not on his own accord. But like Remember that I... That you what? What can you do? Feed off... That's why they're scaring us! They feed off of the fear. The classic scare. Oh my god. The classic scare of a jump scare. It all makes sense to me. Oh my god. Here. Why did you stay? Lasting. Lasting on the fear. Do you want more people to come here? They all do. <laughs> they all the That's evil all people. Of God, this is life. Yo! Oh my God, dude, I'm getting chills. You can't see it, but holy shit. You cannot follow us home. I hope you know that. You better stay here. So one last time, is the energy here from the basement? What killed Mary? I am one of them. One of the energies. Holy fuck. Like they were saying in Bernard's room. Yeah. They are all together, but they're probably fucking scared by something. They are. Yes. Holy shit. Okay, okay, okay. Yo. 
We oh figured it out. My God. We no. figured it out. Everything made everything made sense, and it's fucking sending chills down our backs. It's scary, dude. Do you remember what you said? A little bit. Dude, basically what we said, what we confirmed was that there is energies here, multiple, many from the basement, and it's not necessarily good. Human negative spirits. That are bad people that feed off of our fear. I remember saying that. Doing classic scares. Oh my God, that's and, what that was? And they yes. want more people to come in here. I don't know if it 100% said this, but what I'm hearing is that that same energy was also the energy that influenced Andrew. It sounds like they have a leader of their group that was the one that took over for Andrew, but we were just talking to one of his henchmen. So that's like just an evil person. We got through to Mary immediately at the beginning, but that was not Mary. That was mm -hmm. some negative person that had an agenda to make people scared. And I bet it loves when people come in here so it can jump scare them there, oh, blow in your ear, God, fucking tell you that there's a Because we're the first person, people to do this that probably needed that fear so it could stay in more life. We just helped it. And we literally gave them exactly what they wanted. You just said this is the most scared you've been ever in an investigation. That's what they Why? wanted. It's because that's what they're they're here for, and they're new. You know, it's like they aren't. Did you just hear that? There was like a tap on the door. Huh? There's just a tap over there. I think what we did is we figured out what it wanted, and this is basically just a warning to everybody else that might come investigate here in the future. This is what it wants. Yeah. This is what it was able to do, aka kill a wife and himself. So don't mess with this. Yeah, heed warning guys, this is the first time investigators have really like put this all over the internet. The Bowers Mansion is one of the most haunted places we've ever been in our entire lives. Yeah.